Well, it's apple cider season in central New York and more people are heading to farms across the region to enjoy the fall staple. And CC's Tim Scott talks about one upstart cidery that is set to make its mark on the central New York cider scene. Tim? Thanks, Natalie. There's a whole multitude of farms that churn out cider across central New York. But in Baldwinsville, a husband and wife team look to add their own twist on the classic fall beverage and change the way everyone thinks of cider. At Abbott Farms in Baldwinsville, a whole new beverage is brewing. Since it opened last month, four grand wine and cidery has infused locally grown apples into handmade alcoholic beverages. The cidery, formerly known as Four Daughters, is owned by Andrew and Robin Meyer. Andrew got his start in cider in a completely unorthodox way. I actually went to school to be a pharmacist, and I worked in pharmacy for about 12 years. But how do you go from the pharmacy to the cider press? Well, uh, my wife and I were looking for new jobs, and she happened to come to the store thinking about working in the store and overheard them saying, we need two people to make apple cider. And she said, my husband and I can do that. And then we started the next week. Now married for six years, Robin feels that her chemistry with her husband, Andrew, makes the cider making process all the more easier. I trust my husband completely when it comes to matters of chemistry and flavor. Um, obviously working with, uh, with sweet cider and with the craft beverage, Sanitation uh, and hygiene are super important and having uh, his background in pharmacy, uh, I'm coming from a geology background with a lot of groundwater quality testing. I know when Andrew and I come up with a plan for making particular cider, uh, that it's going to be a good one. Well, there's a whole variety of apples that you could eat here at Abbott Farms. However, there is one type of apple that goes into making the best cider. The Myers believe that the best cider comes from apples that have fallen from the tree. With new technology such as a UV machine that zaps out toxins, the cider is certifiably safe to drink. But with the business only open for a month now, Andrew is already thinking of ways to take his cider to the next level. We're always looking at new flavors. Uh, the farm, in addition to all the apples here, we have uh, about 12 acres of apples, about 9,000 trees, and 21 varieties. But we also have blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, cherries, and plums that we get to play with and I also want to try making flavors with honey and maple syrup. But going up against established cideries across central New York is a challenge that the Myers are ready to handle. Yes, I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. I think we're generating some good comments, uh, some good feedback now, where uh, as soon as we know, as people know that we're here, we're available, we're open, and we've got a, a, fun, a fun variety of beverages to try. For NCC News, I am Tim Scott. Also looks to sell some more cider during the winter months, so even when you're feeling the winter blues, you could have a nice cup of cider to bring back that fall feeling.